I'm Vishal Krishna. I'm at Walmart Global Tech, and I'm going to be talking about my favorite subject, which is about generative AI. And I've got the chief architect of Walmart Global Tech, Rohit Chattar, with me. We are going to be discussing driving efficiency and productivity, how generative AI will augment retail tech. Rohit, both of us love AI. I'm more from the science fiction perspective. How did you fall in love with it? The generative AI early stages has been the NLP of the world. And people have been kind of innovating on that front. But lately, in the last six to nine months, suddenly it has blown up and came out of the shell. It's almost two years back when mm -hmm. we started to read about the Sophias of the world and the other things. That's when I realized that the world is arriving with this generative AI. History of AI within India itself, the last 10 years, lots has changed. Uh, you said the hype cycle is now uh, two years old. But it's no longer hype cycle, it's real, isn't it? It's real. I think people are experiencing it already. People have started talking to these devices at home. My first assessment of that things will change, where you know, generative AI, which we call today, will be part of our lives, whether you like it or not. But they will be helping you, you know, to deal with conversations and stuff, which otherwise you may find difficult to have people around. OK, we talk about efficiency, productivity. When we talk AI, we talk about its profound changes to humanity. What does efficiency and productivity mean to you in relation to AI? If you look at AI, it has been automating a lot of things where otherwise humans will be involved, right? On those mundane tasks, operational tasks. So we made AI leverage those things. But with generative AI, we're changing the game, right? Where we are saying that it is not about automation, but it's about doing those things that we you would otherwise, you know, your spinal cord will respond to those things will somebody else will take over and you start focusing on something more pristine that your brain is supposed to now grow out of what you have been doing. So I think uh, you let that mundane task go somewhere else, which is repetitive, that anyway your spinal cord is taking care, now somebody else will take care and start using your brain, leveraging it for much beautiful creations that is awaiting. You know, for the benefit of the audience watching this, many of them have heard the term AI but now people are starting to use generative AI as a term. Do you want to draw the difference between the two so young engineers watching out there understand it? I think AI that people have understood largely has been like data science, machine learning, and completing certain tasks, like predicting certain tasks or certain actions that can happen. Whereas generative AI is, is not about just doing a task. It is about as if certain things that human would do uh, the generative AI will help you do. And largely we call it as LLM or large language models, which means that understanding English per se, they have made this language so natural that now you have this LLMs or generative AI, understand these thoughts, concepts, approach, context, like all put together, which was so difficult in the NLP natural language processing model, is now suddenly coming to life that if I talk about a paragraph, you know, now this thing can understand, oh, this is a thought, this is a concept, this is an entity, and can put things together in perspective and can generate a new view. What should engineers be excited when they talk about AI? You know, you have a team here. Yeah. What's exciting today for them? There's this hype that generative AI can mm -hmm. change the way we do our things, right? So let, let me first focus on writing code. Some people think it's good, some people think it's not good. We have been always talking about boilerplate code, mm -hmm. right? And this boilerplate code has always existed, mm -hmm. but they have been very restrictive. Mm -hmm. Now what you can do is you can generate those mundane code. You might as well create this templatized code and start moving on to making it more real for your use cases and put things together so fast that now you can iterate on the idea or a concept uh, almost on a daily basis and try it out. So now you can actually create whatever you call software engineering pieces much faster and not wait on like weeks or days, but you can do almost on daily basis to you know churn out that code and see if it works and tweak it for the thing that you need it. But at least that 60% of your effort, effort mm. this is your opportunity to you know, leverage this, keep your energy for something more creative, profound, and generate something that people will love it. Interesting. Now, going into Walmart, global tech, I keep reading about so much work that you guys are doing in AI. Do you want us to talk to you about the sneak peek that uh, your team is doing or what you do with AI in Walmart? Yeah. So I think uh, Walmart, global tech has been 
significantly investing in all this innovations, cutting edge technologies. We have examples where, you know, people can actually order things um, by talking in their devices at home. Today we have um, our voice assistant, Ask Sam. So our associate can actually use this voice assistant it can ask questions like, hey, what's my schedule for tomorrow? Or it can say that, where can I find, which aisle can I find this hand soap? So there's stuff like that. We have made it easy for our associates. So how, how much of it is constant learning for your team and engineers today? I think engineering has to be on their toes to keep learning this new tech that's coming, how they are changing the world, how it will change their world, yes. how they can create new aspects of the software that, will, that can help our customers. Uh, for better experience so that you know they can live better and save money. That's been the focus of Walmart all the time and leverage this technology to make it better for them. Yeah. Th and thanks to you know all the work that's being done at Walmart, Global Tech, it's going to benefit members, customers, it's going to benefit associates, it's going to change the entire gamut. It's going to be very easy to work, work with information, right? Yeah, yeah. We're already actually investing quite a bit on making sure that a lot of the th information that's out there mm -hmm. We're making it easy for consumption, you know, getting your questions answered mm. without really looking at manuals and stuff. Mm. So that, that kind of uh, push is already happening. And I'm sure the, the time of the associate mm. is valued so mm. that they leverage their time for better mm. and better things. And at the same time, you know, when you have your employees and associates work towards you know, having their time used for better things, obviously it's going to go pass on to the customer to serve them better. So the team is constantly focusing on how to make sure that this all gender AI is real, sensible, valuable, and we are out there in the market to serve our customer ASAP in the way that it really helps their shopping journey. Like today, you might have to search different keywords at different times in the day or across the days so that eventually you find the product. We want to shorten that journey. We want to say, Very you know well what, said. you come mm -hmm. express yourself. You know, it may be a sentence, it may be a paragraph. And we will let you say what you want to say rather than train you how you should say. And then take that, find what's right or what's recommended for you or what you're looking for. And eventually, if you like it, you will you'll love the journey. I want to know two things. I mean, your advice to younger people, colleges, you know, they're watching this and they come and say, okay, is this, we, we've laid the foundation that it's real, but is this the only technology? Is this the technology? I'm saying it, but what would you recommend them to learn? Play with AI. Earlier we were focusing people to learn, say, some languages and stuff. Now it's actually an English language. You use English language and it does the job, right? So definitely play with it. See the possibilities that it has created. And then let your engineering mind kick in and say, what different can you do? What value you can create out of this? Because right now it's in a very nascent stage. People are you know, running around, scrambling and trying to see how I can make it work for me. People like me use, you know, generative AI myself. How important is it for you to constantly be in touch with this technology? Engineering is the place that I feel you can never stop learning. Hmm. And this space is changing so fast that if you take a pause for a year or two, you'll feel like uh, you're in a different zone. Right? So you better stay at it. If not, at least keep reading about it. So you're evolving with it. Not necessarily if you're working on it, but knowing how the world is changing is always important. Otherwise, you'll have a sudden shift. You'll find yourself lost. Brilliant. Now, there's so many things happening at Walmart. And I, you know, I have to say, it's all about engineers and there's so much knowledge that you've, you've been telling me. Is there a place where you share all this for people like me? Yeah, so there is an event called Converge. It's our flagship event at Walmart Global Tech. Okay where you know, there are industry experts and engineers and other people come and showcase their work. And coincidentally, it's happening in September this year, 15 September. So yeah, looking forward to it. I look forward to seeing you there. Thank you.